everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to take a look at the brand new NBA City Edition jerseys. I know I'm a couple days late on this, um, but like these have been blowing up all over the internet I haven't really seen these yet, but I've seen that a lot of people are reacting very negatively to them. Uh, so far, these have not received a great response. And honestly, in my opinion, I think the whole idea of teams putting out new jerseys every single season is ridiculous. Um, and it's obviously just like a blatant cash grab, I think. That was very loud, I hope that, that that wasn't picked up on the mic. Um, the way it used to be done, uh, like in England, I think is like the perfect way in like uh, European football. One season, they'd release a new home and use last year's away, then the season after that, They'd release a new away, use last season's home, alternate back and forth like that. So they only had one new jersey every season. But with the NBA now, you have like your, like what is it, association and something else. Basically home and away, but using different names. And, um, you know, it's, it's. Plus now you have your city edition jerseys, and sometimes I'll have like other random jerseys as well. And it's just getting ridiculous, there's too many, and they need to not be pressuring these teams to put out new city jerseys every year. They should, these city jerseys should be at least every two years, maybe like three years at the same one. And I think if they did it that way, they probably wouldn't get negative responses like they're getting this season, so... Um, I have all of the jerseys loaded up here in, um, on the NBA store. We're just going to go through and look at all of them, starting with the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, right away, this, this text bothers me right here, Los you have the space, then the A here, and then the N-G-L-E, N-G-E-L-E-S going down. <laughs> like, I get what they're going for. They want, like, a pyramid type look or something, but it looks really ugly. In my opinion, like, I really don't. Although, I mean, like, you sign up, you save 10%, plus you get an extra 20% off with this code, so, like, you can get 30% off these terrible jerseys if you want. Um, I mean, the back is whatever, right? That looks totally fine, but this is just, this doesn't say Lakers to me. Like, this is supposed to be the city edition. It doesn't explain the design of it either, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't like that. I'm gonna give that a I'm gonna give that a, a D. I'm gonna say that's below average. Next up, Boston. They're always gonna do something like this. Boston never really takes design risks. Um, you know, they know their brand, they stick to it. This isn't the worst, to be honest. I mean, because they don't take risks, it's always going to at least be, like, somewhat decent, right? You have this sort of creamy off-white. You have the green, and then there's a little bit of this, like, dark. Um, I don't know, zooming is. Zooming isn't going to work here. This little drop shadow on there. Like, I don't hate it. I'm not really a big fan of this, um little strip down the side though I could do without that but I'll say this is a C this is just about an average jersey Utah Jazz I mean this is like a classic this is I'm pretty sure this is just a straight up throwback to the um, Lakers 
like Stockton and Malone days, right? That's what this looks like to me. Uh, I think I'm not gonna get mad at that. They didn't really do anything new or groundbreaking here with this jersey. Um, I like the purple. I'm a big fan of using purple more in um, sports jerseys in general, and the Jazz have kind of moved away from purple in recent years. They've been using like that yellow quite a bit recently. I wish they'd go back to something like this as their primary home jersey, but eh, it's alright. Um, I'll just give that an A. I'll say that's pretty good. H down Houston Rockets. You know, I'm actually not mad about that. There's like, um, there's some, there's some stuff down there I can't read just because I can't zoom in on the picture. But I like the blocky numbers there. If anything, maybe I wish that there was a bigger space between the bottom of the letters and the top of the numbers or maybe make these numbers a little bit smaller on the back. But I really like the H down. That font looks nice. The color combination, this looks really clean. Um... This might be my favorite one so far. I'm going to give this an A as well. The New York Knicks. This almost feels like, like a knockoff New York Knicks jersey. Somebody would be selling for like 30 bucks outside the arena as you walk back to your car or something. That weird, like, yellow. The yellow, the white, and then the orange, like, being this far down. This feels really weird, like, this sort of a shadowy effect, but it just doesn't really work for me at all. You have this, this pinstripe here, but then this very gaudy orange, and, like, I know those are Nick colors, but this almost feels like it's trying to be a Nick's jersey instead of just being a Nick's jersey, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, d I really don't like this one. I'm going to give this a D as well as the answer up there, right down there, right down there with the Lakers jersey. I'm going to say it's below average. The Indiana Pacers, good lord. Um, now you have this little splatter pattern there, but it doesn't continue on to the back, so that just looks weird and unnatural. I wish maybe that would, like, you know, come down here on the back a little bit. Now I do like these numbers, but the letter font is not the same as the number font, so it looks, it looks weird. Like, it should be the same color, it should be the same style on the name as well. I don't know why they didn't do that, unless maybe there's a league rule saying they can't do that. Um, yeah, the more I look at it, I don't hate it. I wish they didn't have the blue. I wish it was all just this yellow. Um, but I'm gonna give that a, a B. I'm gonna say that's above average as far as these city jerseys go so far. I'll say it's above average. Okay, see. I'm just going to be the first, I'm not going to be the first to say it, but I'm just going to say it. Um, the Oklahoma City Thunder need a rebrand. They need to get a new logo, maybe some new colors or something. They have such an exciting, exciting young team. Shay, Chet, Giddy, like, I'm even forgetting people. They have such an exciting young team, but their branding is so boring. It's so boring. They need a new logo, new colors, anything. Uh, because this is just not that great. It's black, orange, yellow, like it's whatever. To, but yeah, they, they need a total rebrand to this franchise to go along with their new exciting players. This isn't bad, but it's not good either. I'm just going to give that a C. That's just bang on average in my opinion. The Milwaukee Bucks. It's not bad. It's not as good as that Cream City. Um, I really dislike this vibrant green there. I don't know why they decided to do that. The 
that really bright green everywhere that doesn't make sense to me in this design that should all be this creamy white color instead that makes way more sense um someone's revving their motorcycle hold on okay um yeah like i was saying this cream color should it be here i don't know why because they introduced this really bright distracting shade of green but it's only in those places in the world on the jersey that feels like a like a misstep in my opinion this isn't bad though i'll just give that a c i'll say it's just about average Philadelphia 76ers, City of Brotherly Love. Um, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't love it either. You have these sort of arrows just on the side there. Okay, I don't know if that represents something, perhaps. Um, the number font in where it says brotherly feels very like sort of 70s, 80s-ish. I would maybe rather this red that's everywhere be this shade instead of this darker red. I think that might make things look a little bit nicer. But honestly, this might look better as like a lighter colored jersey, like with this vibe they're going for, like brotherly love, maybe like an off-white or like a cream jersey or you know, because it's the Sixers, you can have that whole, like, parchment declaration of independence type vibe you can do, perhaps. I don't know, I just feel like this dark gray isn't really working for the jersey design. Um, I'm going to give that a B. I'll say it's above average, but just barely. The Kings. I think this might be a throwback to, like, the Kansas City days. I think they had, like, a vertical sash design kind of like this um but this just isn't that this just just isn't really doing it for me here the red stripes feel a little bit out of place i'd maybe do a, a different shade of blue or maybe even use their purple um you know instead of that but um I mean, it's their logo history down there. I'm not sure. This might be a... I think this is probably a throwback to Kansas City, but... I'm going to give that a C as well. It's just kind of average, but so far I haven't really been impressed by anything so far. Uh, Minnesota. No, I actually, I have seen this jersey because I was watching a bit of the Timberwolves Jazz game earlier just because I have Mark in in fantasy. So I saw this jersey, and this is actually what gave me the idea to do this video. Um, I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know what they're going for. It's kind of like a smoky, sort of foggy, ephemeral type thing. Although not on Twitter. Um, um. I don't know. What does that say? Land of a thousand lakes. Land of ten thousand lakes. Obviously Minnesota. Is that supposed to be a lake then? Is that supposed to be water? Because it doesn't really look like water. I'm going to give that like a C. I'm going to give that a B. I'll say it's above average, but it's, it's weird. Mavs. This is really boring. Um, you just gonna have this Mavs script. Well, honestly, the Mavericks have not had a good City Edition jersey. They had that gold one. I think that's two seasons ago. I'm not even sure that was City Edition. Everybody hated that jersey. I really liked that one. I got a Luka jersey in that one, but beyond that, I feel like everyone is like, like all their other City Editions have just been a miss so far. Which is exactly why we need to have more time <laughs> for the design process on these. I don't know, what do you want me to say? It's like, it's just a script font that says Mavs. Like, it's not.
not bad, but it's not good. I'm gonna give it a C. It's just average. Nets. Nets have also had a lot of bad city editions, I feel like. Their team my daddy's kind of up in the air though, so I don't know, but like maybe this just reflects that, but I don't know. You just have like these color splotches on there. I'm sure that's representing something with Brooklyn, like I'm sure it is. I'm just not aware of, but the, the font's kinda weird. The nets, it looks like it almost looks like Flintstone font, if that makes sense. Like looks like a title card with the Flintstones, I don't know. Um uh, this one's kinda this one kinda puts me off a little bit to be honest. I'm gonna get that a, a D. I'm gonna say it's below average. This whole 50 to 80 thing for the Nuggets has to stop. Like, it's, it, it's, I, I get why they're doing it, but like, so many people don't, it's the elevation, right? I think 5,280 feet above sea level is where, um, I think that's where Denver's at, right? But so many people do not, like, get that, because it's not, like, obvious, I should say, like, there should be an apostrophe or something up there to let you know it means feet because so many people are like why is it just these numbers on there like I saw one person say like that's how many points they scored in the playoffs um on their run to getting a ring I'm like no <laughs> that's not that's not accurate um if actually if that is actually what it is and saw the elevation it's gonna be so funny the actual design itself of the jersey isn't bad. Um, it's red up here, and then the gray there. It's like kind of mismatched. I don't know. Um, the jersey, like the base being gray, is kind of uh, whatever, but I like that the blue, um, like strippier of the the Rocky Mountain Range was all the way to the back. Overall, I'm going to give this a C. I'll say it's just about average in my opinion. Now this one's going to be controversial. This is the other one I've seen because this has kind of been like the poster child for this whole like the city jerseys suck thing. And like a lot of people been pointing to this one now. Last year's Cherry Blossom jersey for DC was probably one of my favorite sports jerseys of all time. They had that one and then the um It's the Nationals, right? In MLB. They had a really nice cherry blossom jersey as well that I loved. I always loved those designs and this doesn't go anywhere near those. But I actually do kind of like this. It's, you know, inspired by the Statue of Liberty of the, the copper and then it rusting and stuff and all this. And, you know, I don't, I don't hate this. So many people have said, like, talk bad about this design, but I actually kind of dig it. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm weird about that, but it's, it's at least unique. It's interesting. They tried something I've never seen before on a jersey. And I'm gonna give it a, a B plus. Yeah, like I said, it's not as good as some of these other ones. It's certainly not as good as their last City Edition jersey, but they did something unique and interesting here, and I don't think it looks that bad. I think it'd look better without this red stripe right here diagonally, but beyond that, I don't really have any complaints about that. Okay, the Clippers. I actually don't mind this one. The font here. It's very sort of angular. You have the basketball as the dot on top of the eye. This little thing here, I don't even know what to call that. That's kind of weird. It looks like a, maybe a bouncing basketball or something. That's what it's supposed to represent. Um, I wish it didn't say Clips, like if it's supposed to be City Editions and then say like Los Angeles or something, right? Um, maybe even Clippers, I don't know, LA Clippers, something, but overall it's not bad. I'm gonna get that a, 
seen a lowercase jersey before. And that just looks like, like, Times New Roman or like Sans Serif or something, like just a basic font. Well, there's serifs on it, so it wouldn't be Sans Serif, but it's like Serif or Times New Roman or something, like. And the colors, oh, this is really, didn't they have those MLK jerseys last season or like a peach jerseys or something like that that were pretty decent? Oh, I really don't like those. I'm, it, it's, it's not so ugly. It's a, hopefully that wasn't too loud. It's not so ugly. It's an F, thankfully. And if this is the worst it gets, I don't think there's any true Fs in this one, but that is a D that's below average for me. The land of this is the one that there was like the live unveiling for season ticket alters and like people booted. I really hate the numbers on the front there. It looks really ugly in my opinion. I don't know if it's just because it's like a double zero and that particular combination looks bad on this jersey. Actually, let me see if I can find, um, let me see if I can find another number and see if it looks better. No, it doesn't. That's still ugly. The thing is, I don't mind the colors, actually. Like, the land, eh, it's whatever, but it's decent. The gas color combination's always been good, and you have this sort of pattern around there, which I actually don't mind. But the numbers on the front kills it for me. The back isn't even that bad. And, like, the, the font's alright. It's kind of weird. Like, it's really weirdly skinny and angular in some parts here. But overall, it's actually not bad. I'll give it a, I'll give it a B minus. I'll give it a B minus. San Antonio, uh, Victor Wembanyama has to wear this, and I feel bad because, I mean, what is that San Antonio font? It's in brown. Uh, it's in brown. They have brown font on this thing, and they have this sort of like peachy orange color, like a peach vibe type color. And then just brown, like who decided we're gonna have peach, we're gonna have orange, it's gonna be these very kind of citrusy, vibrant colors, and then we're gonna put brown on it, <laughs> like it just doesn't make sense. It's, I mean, it's not awful, but it's, I, I wanna give it a C minus. my eyes a little bit. I did like adjust. You have that mint greenish blue, then you have their regular blue. You have some gold, the gold jump man. Even though Jordan doesn't own the team anymore, so are they going to be able to keep that jump man much longer? Are they going to go to a regular Nike logo soon? I actually don't know. Um, I don't like it. This one, I thought, I've seen this one. I thought this was like a joke. I thought this was like a joke, dude. And you can't release this when your team is 2-4 to start the season. Like, heat. It's a, it literally says heat culture. Like, we get it. Like, heat culture is a thing. But, like, when you do it like this, it almost, like, becomes a meme. Like, if they have this jersey... So many of these teams set themselves up to like get dunked on on social media. If they like, there's going to be a screenshot of Jimmy Butler wearing this jersey. It says Heat Culture, and the and like they're going to be down thirty in the fourth quarter or something. Like it's that's inevitable. Or like if they have a losing seat, if they have a losing record this season, if they miss the playoffs this season, and they have these Heat Culture jerseys, dude, the meme pages are going to go in on this. These teams, like they need to bring in, like a bunch of Zoomers and put them in the boardroom, and like they seem to show them these jerseys and be like, will people be able to, to like dunk on us and meme on us with this? And, like, get, like, a bunch of, like, 13 to 18-year-olds, and they'll be like, yeah, dude, you're gonna get clowned on, potentially, <laughs> with that jersey. Um, because, yeah, 
this this feels like a meme, like heat culture. Uh, I don't know. It, it's weird. It feels weird to put that on a jersey, in my opinion. Like, that's not a nickname for the team. It's not like Buzz City, Rip City. Like, those are nicknames. This is just heat culture. And, like, literally just do Miami Vice every single year. That's what they have been doing. And then they try to do the weird, like, half blue, half pink that I really hated. Just alternate between pink and blue Miami uh, Vice jerseys for the rest of your existence, and people will buy them every year. Like those are fire. This, this is a C. This is a C. Like objectively, it's it's average. It's a C. But the meme potential for this is off the charts. New Orleans. I kind of vibe. I kind of like this. I like that it's like the black that's being outlined by the green and they do the same here like black in the middle with green like that's what I always do on 2k custom teams um it kind of makes me think of like th this this jersey makes me think of like the princess and the frog like Dr. Facilier and you have that purple outline around the numbers like it's kind of like southern you know, New Orleans mysticism type stuff it reminds me of. Like, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of love for this jersey, but I'm going to give it a B. I'll say it's above average. The Bulls. It's alright. Madhouse. And the Madison. I think is what that says. It's all, I, there's so many teams are using this color of base for their jerseys, and I don't like it. I don't get it. This would look better on, like, a white jersey or a red jersey instead of this dark gray. Like, you put this on a white and make the Chicago letters red, and this thing pops. But it's all right. I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. C. I'll say it's a C. It's average. So I get what they're going for. I get what they're going for, and it's interesting. And I like the gold. But good lord, I like I, I get what they're doing, but I'm not a fan of it. This one really feels uninspired. Like somebody got paid like 250 grand to design this jersey. Like that's that's wild. Um, I'm gonna give that a D. That's below average. And finally, we come to our last jersey. And dude, this is what I'm talking about with the meme potential. You cannot have a jersey that says L Valley, dude. Especially because the Suns have been struggling early. If this Suns team loses in the playoffs, somebody is going to post a picture of Kevin Durant wearing this jersey, and they're going to Photoshop out the E on the front of the jersey, and it's going to say L Valley, and that that's going to happen. That's going to happen after every loss the Suns have. Actually, that's not even going to be. I guarantee you on Twitter, after every single Suns loss since this jersey has dropped, somebody has posted L Valley. Like, just the letter L Valley on Twitter every single game since this debuted. I'm not kidding that's happened. I like the gradient on the numbers. I don't like that they have this green around it. It should be this pinkish color here, or this purplish color. Objectively, the actual design, though, I'll give it a B. I'll say it's above average. Um, so far, of all of them, I think that Houston... I really liked Houston. Where was theirs? Oh, it's Eastern. Western. Yeah, I like this H down. That's pretty nice. It's very clean. Um... And I liked the Cavs. I liked the Cavs. I liked DC. Not 
as a uh, Washington, not as much as some people. I liked New Orleans. What was that other one I, I really liked? Um, was it... I don't think it was the Pacers. Man, I forget. Who was... Don't I have to keep looking here? The Thunder? No, I liked the Jazz, but... to like remember each one that's the brotherly love anyway anyway that was my thoughts and rankings on the NBA City Edition jerseys for this season uh, let me know in the comments down below what you agree or disagree with with regards to these jerseys and which ones are your favorite or least favorite if you liked the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this almost every single day. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.